Hello everyone, this is Captain Gerg, bringing you another VOD, VOD. It's, uh, this is a game between our very own Spectre, he's extremely good, um, he's also on Stature, as well as Best Noob, otherwise known as Jack. So, that's, uh, that's nice, we have a Reaper 17 versus Vanilla GDI game going on here. It's supposed to be fun, don't see much of Reaper nowadays. And uh, <clears throat> there's no one better to watch play GDI than Spectre. That's not true. But Spectre is extremely good. And of course, we are on Tournament Rift, so <clears throat> let's get started, shall we? We have pretty usual stuff from both teams. Squad of Buzzers coming across the scout real quick. That was one thing about Scrin, is that they don't know. I think they both picked their factions, so they knew what was coming. Um, we see a nice little double scout. Um, Split here by Spectre, catches another Buzzer Squad that goes down, uh, catches the other Buzzer Squad with a Watchtower that he'd queued up, then drafts it for the extra scout. Very nice, we'll have two scouts in uh, Jack's base. Jack will have nothing. In his, meanwhile, these two Tabiar Spikes have not been contested at all. Both these have been uh, garrisoned, however, Spec did get. Garrison in there, that was giving constant uh, control there. Now we're seeing some shard walkers come out. Big surprise, that's kind of the usual for Reapers. Probably going to serve as an early scout for the buzzers that he lost. Uh, and now we're going to be seeing harvesters and so on and so forth. First, the shard walker will, of course, take care of these lovely riflemen who will be running around the power plant very annoyingly. Okay, another caught, and that'll be it. Oh, will one survive? <laughs> One lone guy survives the rape of all his other... Oh, now he's dead. Okay. Uh, that's still being attacked. This has been garrisoned as well. Yada, yada, yada. So, things are going well. It's a nice day here. Summer is still in full swing for me, anyway. I still have, like, three weeks left. Two weeks, anyway. Two and a half. So, that's quite a while. School doesn't start back up, so... I'll be all good. We are seeing our first expansion come down here. From Jack, and at almost the exact same time, Spectre will be sending one down as well. But he will be sending it, uh, he'll be sending it across the field rather than down, which I always like to see. The GDI also has, a, well, Reaper could do that too, but uh, VGDI also is quite. Um, yeah, gets caught by the Shard Rocker, you'll see that forward expansion. That really helps if you don't know it's coming, but. Uh, of course, he already does. Both teams already have their five harvesters, two refineries. Yay. Um, yeah, I really like the board expansion with GDI because it allows you to set up a quick war factory. Again, pumping out predators put a lot of pressure on your opponent very quickly. Uh, meanwhile, we're probably going to go in for a second refinery here. And we've seen a nice combo of sheaker, sheakers, <laughs> seekers and shard walkers. I'm sure. Uh, watch that will pop up pretty soon. Or one's Q, wait. What did just pop up? That was weird, maybe he canceled that. Uh, anyway, um, yep, there's the War Factory and... Predator? On hold. Canceled. Training. Yes, no, maybe, no, Harvesters. Spec one Harvesters now. Meanwhile, I already have our second refinery X slash extractor down here for Jack. Pretty normal play. Um, Reaper is interesting because most of the uh, normal screen strategies are denied to them. Usually all you're going to be able to do is the uh, classic Seeker slash Shardwalker build and get uh, <coughs> Shard Launchers in Tier 3 and then go for a... Uh, oh, he's going... Ah, look at this, he's going to go for... Um, uh, Storm Riders. Jeez, it's been a while. Um, yeah, he's going to go for Storm Riders, which will be nice because there was no way that he'll expect he'll be expecting that. Um, it looks like he's going for the normal VGDI, uh... Oh, he's going for Devil Storm Riders. Yeah, that'll be ugly. Eight Storm Riders popping out of nowhere. Um, that will suck to have to deal with in terms of Predators. However, I don't know why Spectre's going for Predator Spam when he's playing against Reaper, who has ample, uh, tools to deal with them. Mostly amongst Devourers, Corruptors, um, so on and so forth. However, these Storm Riders, if they're not discovered, they'll be quite destructive, uh, for things out. Spectre will have already put all of his uh, cash into his Predator spam, and then we'll lose it in one fell swoop. To the Storm Riders, as no anti-air will be on the ground at all. Yes, so we have a double War Factory Predator spam. A couple of hours standing around just for uh, safekeeping, I suppose. That was a nice Ecor Seed. 
I like that uh, going down just to give some fuel to his devourers right in front of his base. Um, meanwhile, there's been like no econ harassment from either side, so both players are going to have quite large armies. Probably rather reminiscent of an old Tiberium Wars replay with large amounts of tanks going and killing each other. Uh, seeing another move. Ooh, this ought to be interesting. Another move from Jack here. All Ace Storm Riders are out on the field. We'll probably. Well, okay, so now the Predators are moving up north. And we're going for another rocket spam as well to deal with the Devourers. We see a nice push here by Jack. Let's see how things are going. And in come the Storm Riders. So long, Predators. Uh, actually, he's gonna go for harvesters first. However, uh, now with the massive amount of rocket troops out, this will get delayed for a little bit, but not before it gets a few kills. Storm Riders are extremely, extremely durable, and by extremely, I mean extremely for an air vehicle anyway. So here's our first econ harassment. This is quite nice. Storm Riders are great because, of course, they don't have to refuel. There's no ammo on them, and uh, they're nice and durable. However, they do do low amounts of damage, so you do have to have a lot of them to be effective. But when you have eight like this, these are scary because, as previously stated, they don't have to refuel at all. If you go down now, we have Pipples coming out along with Rocket Troops, and that will be plenty to chase off the Storm Riders. Meanwhile, we have Shardwalkers being mixed in with the Devourers to counter the inevitable missile squads. Um, still enough Predators to do a good amount of damage. Actually, really good amount of damage. Uh, what's happening down here? Here is the blue expansion for Spectre, as well as... How did he manage this? Yeah, completely missed how... Oh, almost got an engine. <laughs> Just got an engineer into the drone platform. Oh, that was close. How the heck did he do that? How did Spectre get a barracks slash command post down there? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Maybe use a... Uh, an outpost, which you never see anymore, maybe, I don't know. So now we have a nice versatile force down here. Um, however, what would kind of do this in would be a nice disintegrator... Oh man, there we go. Disintegrators, that would be the obvious choice here, as there's no anti-infantry, as well as a uh, nice conjunction with the Storm Riders. This is a really nice force by Reaper, um, by Jack here, partially because of the uh, solid ground troops he has, but also because of the uh, nice Storm Rider force that will be able to harass whatever is unprotected. However, at this point, there are enough pit bulls to down uh, several drone ships at once, and uh, so that would be it. Uh, yes, no anti-air for these predators. They do get a lot of harvester kills, and they do take down almost all of the ground forces for Reaper. All the powers go down. However, it's not going to be enough. Every single predator will die to these storm riders. So that's quite sad. Pit bulls go in to do a little bit more harassment. They won't be able to do squat against devourers, however, and shardwalkers. Surprisingly, we only see a single Warp Sphere up for uh, Jack in this case. He does have the blue Tiberium, so he will have an Econ advantage. Um, however, this field is also open to, uh, to Spectre when he needs it as well. So, And speaking of that, looks like he's expanding right now. He has his double Warp Factory. Shatterers! Yay, I love Shatterers. Shatterers do so much damage to, honestly, pretty much everything good. Deploy there. If he hadn't done that, the Storm Riders would have caught his MZV and killed it very quickly. That would have been tragic. Last Harvester is going to get gang raped. Although an AA gun will pop up to dissuade it, however, AA guns don't do enough DPS um, to really. A single one will be able to do much to Storm Riders. Uh, what else? We have? I love the Shatter Iron. Right, so now we have Tier Three from Jack. Still in Tier Two, it appears. No, that Tier Two got still a lot. Okay, that's not good. That's either definitely get captured or destroyed very quickly. Does Jack just not see that? It's bizarre. Uh, anyway, meanwhile, Storm Riders wrecking more havoc and getting. Mauled, combination of the football pack and uh, eight batteries. Ooh, they found the. Yep, good idea having the missile squads keep up with a uh, double barrack spam here for the missile squads and to keep the shatterers safe. Shatterers will deal massive damage to these devourers. They do so much. It'll be ugly. However, they will go down quite quickly as well, um, just due to the range of the devourers. But if they can get these shots off. Oh, yes, there we are. <laughs> One valley from the Shatterers down to three Devastators, as well as the Shatterwalkers won't last long at all. It's quite a, a hard force to counter. Now, with the Pipples in and the Missile Squad, the Storm Riders' hands are going to be tied. However, we do have a Tier 3 here, so we might be seeing um, a re Hexapod or a Reaper Tripod. There is the Warp Chasm. Chasm, whatever you want to call it. 
All of the storm riders do go down. That was one of the dumber placements I've ever seen for Warp Castle. You should be selling it, 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 you should be, it. You should be okay. It's dead. Well, that was interesting. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say to that. Lightning spike goes down, we have buzzer hives coming out to counter, or attempt to counter the uh, infantry spam, which is going to do nothing pretty much due to the. Oh, wow! Looks like a few buzzers got through. Oh, that's ugly. He still has this command post down, so he can pop up watchtowers wherever he wants, so that's fine. Uh, okay, so is he going to put the warp chasm somewhere smart now, or is he not going to build one? Looks like he's going for more storm riders. As far as I can tell, I don't know who you are, so I'm not going to answer. Um, oh, that was, yeah. Let's see, so... Reaper is coming in. However, these tripods will take lots of damage. Yeah, one tripod against this would be a bad idea. Apologies for the phone ringing. That's quite loud. I know who it is. I'm not going to answer, because she can wait. Um, yeah, in terms of... What the heck is the drone ship for... Oh, there it is. Drone platform for Jack. This, uh, this blue type here still is a completely, uh... Oh, there's a nice lightning spike. That will be able to do quite a bit of damage if it targets the Shatterers, which it does not have now. However, in conjunction with the Reaper, that's going to do enough damage. We'll probably take down most of this base, mini base, if not all of it. Yeah, it's... Yeah, yeah, it'll survive. The Shatterers pulled out. Nothing is going to kill it now. Oh, nope, there's one more Shatterer, which will also go down. <laughs> nah, Shatter will never survive. Not follow me. <sighs> Sorry. Um... Alright, so, Lightning Spike survives, that final little base goes down. Meanwhile, we have single Reaper Tripods gonna go in all over the place, but... Oh, and he caught a couple Shatters there, but due to the fact that Spectre doesn't have any huge, massive, uh, ground force, these, uh, isolated Tripods are being quite effective in conjunction with my Storm Rider fleet. Once again, Harvester's going down like the wind. Assuming the wind goes down quickly, this goes. Down goes Reaper Tripod right in the base, so that'll be a nice husk there to be harvested. Storm Riders, once again, will, wow, kill almost all, all of the Harvesters. Nope, one survives anyway. However, there is another full field down here from Spectre. He is fine. There's the Hexapod. Noise, beautiful. Probably going to be seeing Shock Troopers as is normal. Uh, oh, two Ravagers and a Shock Trooper will be going into that. That's interesting. Spectre definitely has the econ advantage at this point um, due to his... Uh, Single large field and his top field, his original field, is beginning to regrow and he still has the refineries there, so that's nice and smart. Blue field still getting mined and will still be able to do massive amounts of uh, econ help for uh, for Jack. But, on the other hand, um, both his original fields are completely dry. Keep in mind, Oblivion, he's running low on econ. I'm guessing Spectre will be able to pull this one out. One, just because of. He has an armory. Hmm, interesting. He's probably going to be going for composite armor or EMP grenades. Most likely EMP grenades. Or composite armor, never mind. Using plenty of infantry, and there's really no infantry counter. We have corruptors coming out. Um, ravagers are on the hexapod, though. We have one, two, two ravagers, yeah. So that'll be a nice infantry counter. You rarely, rarely see that, but seeing how we have this nice spam coming here. Um, armory will also. Not quite. Tier 3 now. AP ammo probably is going to be going down, as well as. EMP grenades, I'm sure, pretty soon, with all the Grandiers popping out. This is a rocket, enough rocket squads to down a hex pod, but they won't want to engage. Seeing as how that is all Spectre has left. Tier 3, interesting. Might we see a mark? Perhaps. Um, Juggernauts at this point would be helpful as well. Oh, and Buzzers pop in. Was that a swarm that just went down? Yes, it was. Yes, that's going to be quite a nice. Yikes. A lot of things dying. Recommend gotta be. There we go. 